Jesse joins us now with Scully CEO Christopher Gray. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for having us. So Jesse Williams was on live TV today <laughs> and he was talking about his work to relieve student debt loan on Yahoo Finance and also talking about his now Tony nominated performance in Take Me Out, but not talking about the fact that he has been the top trend the last 24 hours after a video leaked of his full frontal nudity scene in the play. How terrifying is that experience? You're up there, you're live, you see your audience, there is nudity involved. You're in front of a room, in front of a bunch of people that might not necessarily want to be there. You gotta keep them entertained. He wasn't asked about it either. Like I said, that interview was live. I can only imagine what threat they gave the network if they had asked Jesse about it. So no, they surprisingly did not approach that topic. They just talked about Scully and they talked about his return to Grey's Anatomy later this month as well. It's also the 400th episode. Uh, so it's a real landmark for a historic show. And I, I'm showing my appreciation by, by uh, making an appearance and reconnecting with old friends and coworkers. And it was really wonderful to, to do that for the fans. He also taped an interview today with Bloomberg News, but reporter Natasha Abelard gave no indication in her tweet tease that they discussed the leak either. Jesse might be keeping the stance that he had on Watch What Happens Live last night when he was probably unaware that the video had just leaked and was starting to be seen all around the world. It's a body. Right. That yes. doesn't, once you see it, you realize it's not, whatever. So Jesse Williams decided not to speak out before the curtain raised on tonight's performance, but his co-star, Jesse Tyler Ferguson did, I'm appalled by the disrespect shown to the actors of our company whose vulnerability on stage every night is crucial to take me out. Anyone who applauds or trivializes this behavior has no place in the theater, which has always been a safe space for artists and audience members. And truly, if nudity is what you're coming for, you're in for a long, boring night. It's within a challenging two and a half hour play with big ideas, beautiful language, and remarkable acting from a company of 11 actors that you'll have to sit through as well. You'll be bored, trust. The Second Stage Theater also released a statement saying they are appalled that their strict phone policy was violated. They called the video disrespectful to Jesse and could have severe legal consequences. They are working on having all postings of the video taken down and they have additional staff on tonight closely monitoring the audience. So the theater is taking action and Jesse Tyler Ferguson has made it known that he's appalled. But what do you think of Jesse Williams not speaking out before he has to put it all out there again tonight? I mean, in reality, what is he going to say? Like, I don't think he can really have the stance that he had Watch What Happens Live when he was just discussing the live theater audience seeing him naked. I don't think he can just brush it off, like laugh it off again. Um, but I don't think he wants to have to go out there publicly and, you know, condone it either. I don't think he wants to have to take that stance either. So I think it's better to just let the theater make their statement and say what action they're going to take and let his co-star Jesse Tyler Ferguson make a statement that clearly Jesse Williams would have approved Jesse Tyler Ferguson doing. But yeah, what do you think of Jesse Williams staying silent before tonight's performance?